The tactical flow meter has the ability to display. The first display is the rate. The second display can be set and you can view these different numbers manually by just pressing the center button which is indicated by there's the left and right, up and down, and enter button. And these buttons are actually behind the circuit board next to the enclosure. So as we circle through this, we can see what's on the display. There are two modes of setting things. We're going to use the, the codes and we're going to press these two buttons simultaneously, just for a moment. And we're now entered into code one. Code one is the fluid. So the one indicates this is the code and this is the variable uh, setting. O1 in the chart is means gas. Code two has to do with the density compensation. The sixth parameter of the de density compensation is rho equals A plus BT temperature compensation. I'm just gonna bounce through some of these codes. There is no three or four. Number five is the analog output and it's set to two. And two means four to 20 or heart four to 20. If we wanted it pulse, we could set it to two. I mean to one. So I'm gonna press and change this one five by hitting the enter button and then incrementing this two and it's gonna circle around. I'm gonna enter one so I can use pulse. one equals pulse, enter, enter. Now we go to, to number six, and six is the frequency output variable selection, and the frequency output is set to zero, which means flow rate. We can select it for temperature or pressure if we wish. And number seven, I'm not gonna go through all these, seven is the flow filter. This is 15 seconds on the flow filter. I'm going to now show you how to get out of this. So once you're in this, you press these two buttons together and it'll go to the normal reading mode. The digital mode sets up parameters of the meter having to do with the scaling. And that's accessible pressing, by pressing the two outer buttons. The two buttons indicated here simultaneously. Press and we're in D001. And at the 001 condition, that means the maximum pressure in the units that were selected in the other one. Number two is the minimum, which should be zero. It's one, so it's one to six kilopascals. The maximum temperature in three is 150 degrees C. The minimum temperature in, in C and D4 is minus 40. Five, the parameter five, is the preset density. It's the it's the density that will be used um, to calculate flow. Six does not exist. Seven does not exist. K factor is the K factor of the meter in pulses per liter. This is a factory set value. So that to to escape out of this and run in the normal mode. To get into it, we press these two outer ones. We'll press the two outer ones again. And now we're in the normal running mode and we can look and see what variables are. It's So there we go. In order to talk to the meter, we need to know some information about the device. So we need to know what COM the RS-45 communication is, the slave address of the device, the parity, the baud rate, the data bits, the stop bits, and we're using it code three, and uh, what the byte order is. These are well known in this document. So what I've got written here, you can download this document, is the temperature, the um, code eight holds a slave address, code nine holds all the information about the 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 parity baud data stop and code 38 holds the byte order here is code 38 modbus byte order so we can go look at 38 and read what we need to read to find out what it is it happens to be b a d c and uh, b a d c means that code in 38 is 3 and to read the 
Um, the slave ID, we would look at code right up here. Slave ID, we can look at this. Slave ID is code 8, and it happens to be 5 in this example. So that's how you get all the variables. So I'm now going to show you a method of reading various parameters. The parameters that we're going to read with the Modbus are available in here. Right underneath Modbus R2, here's how you set it up. Um, you, you select the vortex meter in this particular case for the tactical flow meter, show you a picture of it. There's instructions in there, video instructions. The register, these are all floats. So I'm reading register 8, which is the temperature that had the characteristics of B, A, D, C, 4 bytes, 8, returning 19.1766 degrees centigrade. I could look at the actual real meter and here's the actual meter being re read. So I'm going to push it. You'll see the last few digits. I can push latch on and it'll continue to read. I can turn latch off and it'll stop reading. So this is for the purpose of discovering what your IDs are. This is the string that you will be able to parse out. You can see that we're at address 5. We've got uh, F code 3, you know, engineers know all this good stuff, and you could back these uh, digits in the and the CRC to figure out how this 19.1927 happens in I uh 188, and it's a BADC. Now, another variable, all the variables can be read. These are real-time read-only. We can read the variables in register 1000. So I'm going to show you the registers to see they're very similar to the other ones. So if we go to the register section further down, these are the, the real time and here are the registers, the real time variables. 1000 is fluid, 1001 is density, and then if you'll recall we have damping over here at 1006. So I'm going to read uh, so we'll see the 15 over here. We'll see the fluid dimension uh, 1, meaning air. And we know you see 01. Remember, we go back to C01. What C01 means? C01 means gas. So back to, and then remember that C, uh, C07 is the filter. So let's go and look at those variables using this 1000 through 1007. We'll do that number. So we'll click, click 8 bytes of 1000. We're going to fill up this array. Here is the array. These are all shorts. And here's that 15. Here's, here means gas and such. So that's how you can read all the variables. And you could choose any variable you want to read. And what uh, Modbus byte order. And these are things that are important to uh, to you. These are the variables that are in the digital values. Remember the max pressure and the minimum pressure. Remember the minimum temperature. Minimum temperature. Or this should say temperature. Uh, to at 2006 as a float. So let's read 2006 as a float. 2006 as a float, that would be 4 bytes, and that will be should be minus 40. There we go. So that's how those work. And these documents will be at Tactical Flow Meter. You can go home to Tactical Flow Meter, select the sort type of meter, or we're in a vortex meter, and then read down. You can see all the, all the goodies in there. All right, thanks a million.